For a moment, envision stepping out for work onto a helipad where your personal helicopter eagerly awaits. Picture possessing the most impressive, extensive, and bulletproof fleet of vehicles globally, from land to sea to high above the sky. Vladimir Putin, known for traveling in style, ensures his transportation methods feature some of the most advanced security and communications technology worldwide. Not only does luxury accompany him, but also a plethora of countermeasures to keep the Russian president comfortably out of harm's way. Welcome to Extraordinary Things. Today, we delve into the seamless fusion of style and security within Vladimir Putin's fleet. Whether by land, air, or sea, Putin is renowned for sparing no expense when it comes to his safety and control. No matter where he is, Putin's fleet boasts incredible machines meticulously crafted to guarantee his safety. Stay tuned until the end to discover the remarkable elements that comprise his fleet. Powerful leaders globally go to extraordinary lengths to protect themselves from danger. However, Putin, having faced numerous assassination attempts, takes extra care to maintain peace of mind and reinforce his security, no matter the circumstances. For Vladimir Putin, there's no superior method to ensure his safety than being escorted by highly trained armed guards to his personal helicopter, his daily driver, transporting him effortlessly wherever he needs to go. Since its original introduction during the Cold War, the MI-8's capable and comparatively simple machinery continues to be produced in dozens of formats for air arms worldwide. Over 17,000 have been built, making it the most prevalent helicopter, despite falling victim to deadly incidents, even in Afghanistan. Updated versions of the MI-8 persist, with the Russian military and Vladimir Putin himself favoring it as the transport helicopter of choice. Decades later, the Mi-8 in its updated model remains a reliable choice, unlike Western counterparts like the UH-60 Blackhawk. Putin, acting as an exception, prefers his personal helicopter over other fancier modes of transportation. The HIPH, outfitted for VVIP use, is distinguished by its square windows, often equipped with external fuel tanks, auxiliary power units, and antenna farms for infrared countermeasures. Currently utilizing infrared flares, it can also feature a directed laser countermeasure system, reminiscent of the Russian-built President S and the US's Marine One. Internally, these helicopters boast oversized club chairs, high-end wood trims, additional sofa seating, a restroom, and in-flight video and communication systems. The rear doors are retained for cargo and luggage, providing everything Putin needs on his daily commute and more. Despite its exponential price tag, Putin maintains at least two in his mystery fleet. If Putin opts for longer flights, he turns to Russia's version of Air Force One, the carefully designed IL-96 300PU airliner. These planes are modified from Russian-built IL-96 models, but incorporate parts from England, creating an engineering spectacle. Between armed guards and high-tech security devices, the IL-96 functions as an air office, providing crucial and immediate access to a control panel for the Russian president. Army oversight, intelligence liaison, and nuclear weapons monitoring are integral aspects of the president's responsibilities, and the IL-96 is well-suited for these tasks. From the luxurious cabin, Putin can comfortably command troop movements, confront intelligence, and even make decisions on nuclear strikes without stepping foot outside, all as conveniently remote as if it were a management video game. In addition, the IL-96 is equipped with an array of computers capable of sending specially encrypted messages from any altitude on Earth, ensuring fast and secure communications. Designed to withstand the severe stresses of sudden maneuvers and emergency landings, the plane is said to be equipped with a secret escape pod allowing the Russian president a quick and efficient exit in case of need. The plane has a fully equipped gymnasium and a spacious bedroom, featuring neoclassical style furniture with white and gold leather accents. Many design details have not been disclosed, as they are part of the comprehensive measures taken to ensure that there is always a secret backup plan. Whether it is a disaster or an attack, emergency measures are meticulously planned and ready to be executed. Perhaps the most notable and impressive feature of Putin's mode and method of travel is that one does not know the itinerary or whether he will leave until the departure. This reportedly helps thwart potential attacks, as there is only a 75% chance of guessing.
Even when on the ground, Putin does not compromise on comfort. In fact, the Russian presidential state car stands out as one of the most luxurious and advanced on the planet. The Aura Senate limousine, equipped with advanced communication and security features, has bulletproof glass, iced champagne, and leather seats worth tens of thousands of dollars. It was originally a Mercedes-Benz S600 Guard Pullman, but was replaced with a Russian-built model in 2018 at Putin's personal urging. To capture the car's advanced technology, it is bomb-proof and bulletproof from every angle, equipped with a myriad of communication devices. An example to give you a sense of the attention to detail for its safety. It can travel 30 kilometers at 80 kilometers per hour, even if all four solid rubber tires are blown off. There are even specially designed protected vehicles to protect Putin's car. Not to be overlooked is Putin's driver, who is subjected to rigorous scrutiny by the Russian Federal Security Service. Highly trained and qualified, becoming a presidential driver requires a level of training and skill comparable to that of a surgeon. They undergo weekly drills, shooting drills while driving, emergency procedures to protect the president, and navigating through explosions. On occasion, Putin has been known to take the wheel himself when a driver isn't available. He reportedly owns over 700 high-end cars ranging from expensive, luxurious limousines to extreme off-roaders. Examples include his Mercedes ML500, Gazelle limousine Lada Vesta sedan, and a Lada Neva 4 Safriyark 4. While these cars are less common than his state vehicles, they offer just a glimpse into his extensive garage. Beyond cars, Putin likes to make an impression with his 260-foot superyacht called Graceful. With a crew of 24, six luxurious cabins, and two incredible VIP staterooms, this $73.2 million pleasure craft was initially built by Sevmesh in Russia, with interiors and exteriors envisioned by H2 Yacht Design. The yacht features soft cushioned sofas, glossy sleek surfaces, and a posh white marble bathroom. There are multitudes of shelves for books in one office, along with a desk fronted with a stunning sailing boat painting. Reportedly, Putin also owns a second super yacht, the Sarafsa, though ownership is disputed. Estimated to cost around $990 million, this opulent watercraft is described as a mini city. The 490-foot luxury vessel includes countless swimming pools, a spa, a gym, a sauna, ballrooms, a theater, and two helipads. Bathrooms are outfitted with King Midas, evoking gold taps and toilet paper holders. On deck, exercise equipment is lined with lounge seating and bar stools, while every other surface is either marble or gold. In line with the style of the Russian president, this ritzy ship isn't just for pleasure cruises. It's said to be capable of transforming from a party boat to a war machine in a flash, featuring a state-of-the-art security system capable of taking down drones. The yacht also houses six jet skis, five dinghies, and eight Seabob underwater scooters, ensuring control and an added level of security beneath all the opulent luxury features. Ownership of the Scheherazade is currently in dispute, with British Captain Guy Bennett Pierce vehemently denying ownership or Putin's presence on the vessel, despite its security features. Amid potential sanctions on the vessel, certainty remains elusive. This would add another layer of security and privacy to an already extensive list. Whether by land, air, or sea, Putin's penchant for elegant travel reflects his need for absolute control and security over his country absolute glitz mixed with obsessive control over personal safety. Do you have a favorite car among those listed today? If you could take a ride in one of these luxury vehicles, which one would you choose? In your opinion, in the event of an attempt on his life, would they be able to hit him? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This concludes our discussion today. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more similar videos, be sure to like and subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss a single one. Thank you for joining us at Extraordinary Things.